Folks, come on over for more Vintage Wonderful. Get your Rice Krispies, your Post Toasties, get your coffee. We got some beautiful vintage to show right here on my take on Home and Garden. Guys, thanks for coming. Check it out. We'll start off with some beautiful plates, somewhat like we saw the other week. I thought they were Duncan Miller. They turned out to be Indiana Tiara dessert plates. These are Duncan Miller. They're so close, it's incredible. And there are a couple others, but we'll get started and show these beautiful luncheon plates today. There's a set of four, no problems, of course, going in the store for your pleasure. Next, we have an incredible, you black and tan lovers, made in Bavaria, really different piece. I've never seen this style, teacup and saucer, in the black and tan and luster wear. We'll keep it moving, we have quite a little bit. There's our porcelain reveal and really different. Next we have the cutest little Demitas made in occupied Japan. Look how sweet. Marked match pair cup and saucer You'll see that in the super close pan, and this is special. You Demitas collectors, I know you're out there. You're gonna love that one. And we'll get that up on the display. There it is in the, the cup, of course, and the sweetest different with grapes very cute classic colors with gold trim next you violet lovers <laughs> and then includes us there's a lot of us this is a gorgeous three-footed teacup and saucer by victorian england countryside Hammersley. Very unusual. I hardly ever see this brand. They must not get out of the country. <laughs> Hammersley, fine porcelain, made in England. 22 karat gold trim, helix handle, three-footed, beautiful violet skies. Next, we'll break it up with a wonderful pedestal style teacup. And this is very different. It has a violet edge, gold trim, and yellow roses. Just gorgeous. This one is by Lefton, which is out of Japan. We'll see that beautiful fine porcelain with the light here. Look at that. And this has a very unique squared bottom pedestal. Look at this. Very different. Pretty and perfect to be different in your collection at home. Next, what else do we have? In the lusterware finish, a pedestal teacup with pink and white roses, you know, very popular, and reticulated saucer. Unmarked, very simply made in Japan. Gorgeous piece, look at this. We'll check that porcelain, just so you know. And this is a nicer, beefier piece if you're worried about clumsy folks around having tea. <laughs> you can give them that one. It'll outlast them. 
Next we have a beautiful in pastels, pink, blue, white and gold trim pedestal and believe it or not Hammersley and Company once again made in England. This is probably the first two I've had together ever and it is so cute. If you're not a teacup and saucer collector hang in there we only have one more to show because there's a ton of collectors and you guys show your interest in our cup and saucer video of our collection. It's a dandy. Look how sweet. Last but not least, a very different violets again in a squared shaped cup, pedestal style, gold trim, and this is Hammersley made in England Victorian violets incredible they are different look at that okay what else we got today we have one of our favorite vintage makers of sweet little porcelain things home co from Japan. These are marked on the bottom for you. They still have their marking because it's in the porcelain itself. Pair of praying angels. Well, I guess the one is just thinking and holding a flower. They're a pair and they go together. There's not a flea bite, a mark. They're wonderful. Right there for you if you're into beautiful porcelain look at these can we get a look through they're pretty thick all righty next something you may have seen in our shows before just a wonderful little vase by lefton of japan this has been in the family for at least 40 years that I know of because I've had it for 30 <laughs> so it's the sweetest little vase you whiners that you can't collect anymore because you got a full house there you go there's a piece for you just for you it is wonderful hard to see through there you can see through fine porcelain Violet lovers again, believe it or not, we just keep it coming. Look at this gorgeous thing. This is almost on the scale of that one. This is the crossed arrows, and I will have this described, and I should know it, but I can find that, and it has a little bit of Moriyagi on the flowers where that's raised up. Beautiful. See the porcelain glow through the, even the base of this one. So that would be extra fine. Where you're gonna go for cute and beautiful. Now another, Gebruder Hubach piece from Bavaria, Germany. Wonderful. In the bisque square, you see again, that era, late 1800s, just into the 1900s, they didn't bother to paint the back. It was too expensive and too useless, I guess, for <laughs> people to display them on a shelf and you don't see the back kind of thinking. You can see the glow through his whole self here in the fine porcelain of that era really cool see i haven't even seen him like that so he is cool so back to the incole stone collector plates here's a couple for you in a series 
that's different than what we've showed before and these are backed by the Bradford Exchange of course and these are the love sonnets of Shakespeare and that is this collection in blue and white like my big jewelry box if you remember that one look how cool these don't have the brass plate on the back but they have the raised lettering and story and let me make sure they're numbered yes individually this is another sweet one and these will be cleaned up more I don't clean up when I do a show because you know they're wet and they look funny but uh, this is 1987 and this is Love Alters Not the love sonnets of Shakespeare Love Alters Not and this is Your Fair Eyes so there's two of those and we are going to bring that price down a little bit and give you guys a break especially the ones that love them so that you can keep getting them and get more and we want to help all right back to the this is amazing you see these are bigger and they weigh like twice as much this is different than anything we've shown in the Inkle Stone because of the collection series. These are the great lovers, how do they do, great romances of history, okay? I think there's gonna be a lot more interest in these. This is Lancelot and Guinevere, and it's pretty obvious when you look at it, the castle in the background, great loves through history. Okay, so there's, anybody know this one without me saying it? You're right, Antony and Cleopatra. This is superb. <laughs> wow, I thought it was really extra cool. Antony and Cleopatra. We'll let that have a chance at the close up. These have the brass plate and hanger, and they're numbered just gorgeous in the cream and cocoa tones. This one is the Lovers of the Taj Mahal. Very different plate. The Taj Mahal Lovers. Look at this neat, different plate, if you can see that. Boy, I don't know if I can even let that one go for real. We'll, we'll give it a couple days in the store. Stay till the end. I've got something awesome from the modern world in Italy, and you'll want to see that too. Here's back to our first series that is the Romantic Poets and this one is called I Stood Tiptoe. Running down that cobble road. And what a sweet look to these three dimensional plates with the brass onlay on the back that's permanent. So that you can hang this, put it in a stand, or put it in a wall rack. Just beautiful. And last but not least for our show today, I can't believe it. Now I did have to move, but to keep it within that possible time frame, this is an amazing modernist vase in an oblong, tall, handmade by Murano of Italia. Look at the bottom. This tells you this is ground to finish and it is superb. Here's the center where it was on the stick. And these are glorious. You can look these up. 
they want a bundle. Ours will still be about half of what they want, what I'm seeing, and some want even more than that. So when you see our price, you can double it and know that there's some available for twice as much or even more. I mean a lot more. They only make so many. This is, if you're into modern at all, you, this would even work in the African safari look. It's just gorgeous piece. Very different, very beefy and substantial. Check it out. She's going to show off here on the light for you. Well, I see I had a minute, so I wanted to squeeze in one last thing. We haven't been showing the metal cars and trucks and toys that I told you were going to go in our shop as well. This awesome oversized biplane is going in the store as well. All welded metal. Just a beautiful collector piece. And I wanted to get that in, in the store, and get that shown to you before we ended, too. So, alrighty. Especially, I'm going to have these things going in the store before Christmas time. For all those kids at heart, husbands out there, friends, partners, what have you, that love vintage goodies and maybe even toys <laughs> or the grandkids we got something really cool coming up i'm going to show you too gift sets vintage gift sets i got the brainstorm to put vintage things together and put that in the store as well and i'm going to show you that maybe next week so guys if you liked our video today hopefully you had at least fun or saw something different give us a like a share a comment send a friend over tell them how much fun we have at least how much we have to look at and check out that wonderful etsy store my take on a vintage shop and the link is just below any video and you can zip right over <laughs> no goofing around go right to it and it is full once again, of more than what we can show in a show because it's just too much. Take care, everybody. Be good, and we'll see you in the next amazing, over-the-top, incredible, awesome, off-the-chain, where you're going to go, have fun video. Bye, guys. See you soon in the next one.